Hey guys, welcome back to Index Investing with Cole. My name, of course, is Cole. Welcome back. And today we're going to be talking about what is an average year for the stock market. Uh, if you ask that question to pretty much anybody, they're going to tell you that an average year in the stock market is about 8%. 8 to 10% would be an average year. I decided that I wanted to talk about this topic because I was watching another finance investing YouTube channel. And for the New Year's, the uh, YouTuber said that he thought the S&P would have just an average year, so he thought it would go up about 8%. I immediately thought that this was a very weird bet to make, because if the S&P has even remotely close to an average year, then almost impossible that it's going to be up 8%. Because while, yes, the historical return of the stock market has been 8%, that is just what the returns average out to. It's actually almost never happened that the S&P returns something around 8%. In fact, in the last 94 years, which we have a chart of right here, only 14 out of those 94 years was the stock market positive in the green, but less than 10%. That means out of roughly 85% of all years, the S&P is either going to be red or it's going to be up double digits. And you can see from this graph right here, here's the 10% line right here. And you're going to see almost never do we see a bar drop below that 10%. Very, very rare. It's either red or it's far above it. Some hitting 30 to 40% some years. And that's part of why it's so important to always be investing in the market. Even if, even if, if you knew for a fact that in the next three years, the stock market was going to drop by at least 10%. Even if you knew that for a fact, if that first year is green... It's probably going to go up so much that it's going to that it's still going to be up even if there's a crash. And of those 14 years where the S&P was green but only had single digit growth, a lot of those hovered around 0 to 3%. So if we look only at years where the S&P returned between 5 and 10%, which is considered an average return, that only happens 6 times out of 94 years, so about 6 to 7% of the time. So for someone to say, oh, I think the S&P is going to have an average year and be up 8%, they're saying they think something that happens 7% of the time is an average year, which of course it's not. So if it's hard for you to read that chart, we're just going to scroll through the numbers real quick. Um, this starts uh, from most recent year and goes further into the past. You see lots of lots of 20% years. You know, Here's our first um, single-digit gain in 2016 right here. And we actually don't have another... We don't have another single digit gain until you go all the way to 2007. So it's 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 in fact there's actually of of the 14 of the 14 3 of them are right here from 04 to 07. And then you'll see that it starts to space out a lot. We don't we go from 2004, we go from 3 and 4 years to um have to go back 11 years for it to happen again. And once again happens back to back. And then uh, we're going to have another, well, actually, no, there it is again, 1987. And then again in 84, 78. And then as you start to go further back, there's two more right there. They start to get more and more rare. We have nine right there, eight, two. And then I don't, I think there's maybe like one more in the entire, no, actually, there's none in the, for, from 1928 yeah, if I'm not missing anything, from 1928 all the way to uh, 1956, there was actually there was no single-digit growth years. Um, you know, part of that can be explained too. We got better at um, more data was available to people. We got better at investing, so there was less crazy swings and things. But the point is, you cannot afford to miss out on a green year in the market because, you know, look at. You know, look at 2021. A lot of people thought the market was overvalued. It was going to go down. It went up 27%. So even if there's a, a huge crash, just a huge crash coming in the next few years, you already missed out. I highly doubt, you know, these this 27% gain is going to be wiped out in the next crash. If it is, it's definitely not going to wipe out. Look at these gains. Look at these gains. 2018 closed at 20, 2,500. Now the S&P is at 4,700, almost almost doubled in three years. You know, you, uh, you know, we would need a 50% drop to get back to 2019 levels. So hopefully they gave you guys some insight. I think it's interesting knowledge to know that, you know, the average return of the S&P actually almost never comes up in actual year-to-year -year data. 
So if you ever see somebody say like, oh, you know, I think the S&P is going to return 8 or 10% this year, you can let them know highly unlikely that's going to happen. Either it's going to go down or it's going to go up huge. Those are about the only two options. <laughs> It would be if we had steady 8% growth every single year, that would be incredible. You know, a risk free investment of 8%, we would be rich in no time flat. But it's because of these huge swings that gives you huge opportunities to buy, where people freak out when it drops 20%, which causes it to drop even more because people are freaking out and panic selling. And then you can get in and then enjoy, you know, the 28%, the 16%, the 26% years right after. If you learned something in this video, Feel free to leave a comment. Let me know that. If you have any questions, leave a comment as well. Hope you guys enjoyed.